So this is how our goal sheet for week six looks like. We have three chapters in bio, we have two chapters in chem and one in physics. This bio chapter, each of this chapter, we can expect two questions. Reproductive health, reproductive uh, reproduction in organism, biodiversity and conservation, two questions in each uh, can be expected. In chemistry, nitrogen containing compounds or amines and biomolecules from this also we can expect two questions each and the dual nature of radiations now this is an important topic uh, it's a standalone topic we can expect around three questions from this so this is how the week six will look like day one we have three topics to do Reproductive health, you'll do the entire topic, reading, learning, everything. Second, you're going to do nitrogen compound, that's amines. So we'll do, let's do structure, let's do nomenclature. Then we can do classification. You can also do physical, uh, you can also do preparations on the first day itself. In dual nature, we will do only two concepts. We will do electron emission and let's say, let's do photoelectric effect. A detailed day-wise description will be given. Uh, so for physics, every day we will do only two concepts. So dual nature, let's do two concepts. In the first day, we can do electron emission and we can do photoelectrical eff effect. In day two, we are doing again reproductive health. You're doing the entire chapter. In nitrogen, uh, in nitrogen compound, we can do chemical reaction. In dual nature, we can do again photoelectric effect because that's a lengthy topic. And you can do Einstein's photoelectric equation. Day three, we'll pick another topic for bio. So you see for reproduction in organisms. Day four also, we're doing reproduction in organisms. And biodiversity and conservation, we'll be doing it on day five and day six. For day four, five, and six, we are doing biomolecules in chemistry. So here we'll do, day four, we will do carbohydrate protein. Day five, let's do enzyme and vitamins. And day six, we can do hormones. So we're dividing the topic in, uh, in all these three days. Dual nature, as I said, we will be dividing the concepts. We will be doing two concepts every day. So as per the plan, the dual nature should get over by day four. If it doesn't, you can utilize day five, but try completing dual nature within day four. So now what what will happen is you will get two extra slots. If you complete dual nature in day four, by day four, you will get two extra slots to do something extra. Again, you can either complete your backlog in both these days, any topic backlog that's left, or you can do some new MCQs. You can do approximately some 50 new MCQs of any previous topic or your weaker concepts. So the basic idea remains the same. We are doing three hours of reading. We're doing three hours of reading, four to five hours of MCQ solving. MCQs will be 50 bio, 40 chem, and 15 physics. And the last one on we are utilizing to rectify the mistakes that you've done in the MCQs, to relearn certain concepts, to go through formula, etc. Day 7 will be completely allotted for revising everything of day 6 and day 5. Remember to do space repetition, learning the concepts, making charts, revising it again and again. Revision is important. You need to revise everything that you've done in the previous week again and an easy week. I'm sure you should be able to cover it up within this week's time and you have extra two slots. Okay, so that's it for this week. Thank you.